In this lecture, I am going to discuss what, how to migrate data from SQL Server to MySQL Workbench. So here you can see this is the MS SQL Server and this Adam table starts uh, going to migrate inside Workbench. So here you can see there is the tab database. Here you can see there is the migration wizard. Click on it and uh, next uh, here click on this uh, start migration. So, or this place you need to search here the source. So, source can be this all. Here I'm searching the or uh, selecting the source uh, Microsoft SQL Server. Then you need to give here ODBC or uh, connection. Okay. So here you need to give the ODBC connection. So what I'm trying to do? So creating one ODBC connection. So here using the Windows 11 operating systems, so write ODBC data source, then you need to click on this add. And here or uh, selecting this one SQL Server native client, click on this finish. Or uh, then here writing T SQL Server. After that this place you need to give the server name giving go uh, local host and then after click next so that's fine then oh uh, that's fine and then after click on this finish test data source that's successful okay okay and now you can see TSK server that's added after that Let's go on this workbench. Or uh, then this place, so uh, this is not this uh, uh, playing. So what I'm trying to do? So here, again, clicking on this database, migrate wizard. Then click on this uh, start migration, and uh, selecting this place, Microsoft SQL Server. Then uh, this time you can see here TSQL Server that's come there. So uh, this place so uh, uh, SA user automatically is taken. Then uh, this is uh, optional. Then after click on this test connection. This is succeed succeeded. Then after click on this next. And uh, this is here for my uh, my SQL. This is the version. That's all fine. No need to change anything. Click on this next. Then here root user we need to give the password. So that's done here. This is all. Okay. Click on next. Then uh, here you can see. This is the Adam and uh, on Microsoft SQL Server this all table is checking. Uh, the system table also. But I don't want system uh, database. So for this one I'm going to check here only Adam. And here this is the schema DBOHR. That's all fine. Then click on this next and that's all okay click next here you can see the details 14 uh, tables and uh, here or uh, if you want then you can migrate the views and this is here routines now click on this next that's all fine next and next next here next this all going go script executed successfully there is no any problem click on next and next and here next so this is the report okay and here you can see total tables 14 triggers 4 views 7 a store procedure 2 after that click on this finish and again oh. now you can see there is the item database that's created and here the tables that's come on this all so this is the most uh, simplest now you can compare the tables this place so this is the item and here you can see this is the countries departments EMP job and our sales grade here this all comes there 
DPT here, DPT EMP, this all that's gone there. So this is how we can or do or migrate SQL Server to my SQL Workbench. Okay, and now if you want, then you can see the records. So here select 100. Here you can see the records are there. So I hope guys this video is the helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.